Well, this is a uh, do-it-yourself video for an 89 Toyota pickup truck, four-wheel drive, base model, 22 RE. Uh, you get your new bearing, and um, you know you, you gotta get your truck, get it blocked. Oh, I just ripped a hell of a hole in my pants. Uh, you, you block your truck up like so, so that uh, it won't roll away. If you got a truck that's lower to the ground with normal size tires on it, you probably don't. But um, if you do, you know, you probably have to jack it up a little bit, put it on some jack stands so it don't kill you. But uh, first thing you do is you crawl up underneath there and you take your little 14 millimeter and you take the bolts out of the cross member that go into the transmission. And then you pull out the uh, cross member, which, which is this right here. It's gonna have four bolts right here, right here, right here, and right here. They're 14 millimeter. You just get your little uh, socket, ratchet, take them out. And uh, when when you get when you get them loose, you take out the four bolts right here, which are 13 16. I mean 11 16. You'll take them out. Um, when you go to take them out, you want to put a jack underneath this right here, while it's across there, so that whenever it comes out, it doesn't fall on you. So you just jack it up till it just gets tight, and you take it out. Then you'll slowly let the jack loose, and you'll have that out the way. And then when you get that out the way. You'll be able to get to your drive shaft a little better, both of them, because it's four wheel drive. That won't be in the way, so you can get all them bolts out. You'll take these out, these four, they're 14 millimeter. You're gonna have to use a wrench because you can't fit a socket in there. Put one on the back for the backup. Same thing on here. Um, it's easiest if you jack up the rear end off the ground so that you can spin this to get to where you need it to go. But, I mean, I'm a very agile little guy, so it's not an issue for me to crawl up underneath there and get to everything. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's, how you, that's how you get that shit loose. Most important thing not to forget is that you have to take your gear shifter loose and out. That way that you can slide the transmission back when replacing this throwout bearing. Your clutch, whatever. So, you know, what you'll do is you'll unscrew the knobs. like so and you'll unscrew this which I've done so already you will slide the boot off and then you slide this the secondary boot off you slide it up out of the way on four-wheel drive too it's a little bit more difficult you'll slide them up out the way and then on the front one you'll have it's it's kind of confusing but you have to get you a flat tip screwdriver you have to push down like so you have to push down and then spin it at the same time and then that pops up and you put it in neutral and you'll pull it out see it's got the little little twister that's how that's what holds that in place so you'll set that in your boat because you know everybody's got a boat next to where they're working at so you'll put that in your boat if you don't if you don't have a boat next to where you're working at you got to go buy a boat so you have a place to put all your shit and then on this one it's a little more difficult because it's got a snap ring and on the snap ring you have to put it in there well, probably could never do that again Okay, so I'm gonna put that in neutral so that I can spin my four wheel drive. See the little snap ring right, right there, guys? Yeah, but make sure you have a boat. If you ain't got a boat, you ain't doing it right. And then bam, you ain't got nothing to get caught up on. Okay, so after you get your drive shafts loose, and all the bolts out, you have to slide up here. And this is a slave clutch. It's run off hydraulic. All right, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt right here that you have to take loose. And then you got your reverse lights, which I ran off your transmission whenever it goes in the reverse and knows to turn on your lights. You have to unclip that there. And then you got your speedometer, which is right there. You have to unscrew all this so that when you take all these bolts out of the transmission, uh, the bell housing, 
you can slide it backwards with no issues. You won't have no wires in your way or rip no wires. So remember to take those loose. Um, this is this is my gigantic tra transmission jack for tractors, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, whenever I get this loose and I start working on taking the bolts out of the transmission. I'm gonna put the jack right here. I'm gonna jack it up some so everything's level, and then I'm gonna start removing the bolts. And then, since it's a standard, I'll have to use pry bars and pry the transmission apart. All right, um, after, after you get all the bolts out of the bell housing and the starter off and your speedometer loose, your reverse loose, all that good shit, the clutch, or a slave clutch um, I couldn't get the the hydraulic hose loose but um, after you do that you need to get you a pry bar most likely two and you'll need to slide it in between the transmission well the bell housing and the motor and put a little pressure on it like so and you'll see it opens up because on these motors you actually have to pry them apart because there's splines in there and they're they're together it's like gear in there um on a on automatic it's not near as difficult than on a standard but you see i got my transmission jack under here and i gotta lift it up some and then you do that and you pry it apart and you'll slide it out and then you let your let it down and you replace what you need to all right well when you get the transmission part of the way out and you can't get it no more just put a strap from the transmission all the way to the back and start uh, ratcheting it and uh, before long the transmission will just slide on out and you won't have no more issues uh, nobody told me this trick I just came up with it because uh, I've been fighting getting this transmission out for about 45 minutes now had it all unbolted and everything and they told me to take some pry bars to it well I took the pry bars to it got it as far apart as I could and then I ratchet strapped it the rest of the way out uh, man, it's a little shortcut i don't know if somebody else got a better way but uh my transmission's out because of this ratchet strap so you get your transmission out Ugh. and that is your throw out there right there that thing slides out And there's your forks. And you put the new one back on how you got this one off. Line it up on them forks. And reinstall transmission. Okay. When you get to this point where you're putting a new one on, you'll slide the throw out bearing on, push the forks up against it, and this metal pin that goes around here goes on the bottom side of the forks. So when you use the clutch, it slides and holds it back in place. Any little black socks? Oh, that's not on my bicycle. That's someone here. Uh, Mama knows where we're one is. Yeah, Mama knows where And that transmission is being bolted to what? What? To your clutch, right? Or to your little follow? Outside of your flow. To the motor. Yeah, this is pretty hard to work when you got a lot in your face. Huh? Better than a penis. Oh. <laughs> it probably would be way better than a penis. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and it depends if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. I am. Uh, well, I got some penis you can have in your face. <laughs> Okay, so. Seems to be major malfunction. Always gonna be malfunction. Yeah, like flashlights in your face. <laughs> yeah. Your hand is too far down. Oh, that's so gangster. Or too far up, I should say. Uh, so I mean, that's Jack right here, but. One you're like leaning on? I'm gonna be too busy laughing to help you. Oh, that's gonna be asshole Lee. I am an asshole, and my name is Lee. <laughs> she looks like cheese. Oh, 
Y'all buy that square cheese? I love cheese. Yeah, I get that sliced cheese. Get that shredded. Really? Yeah, shredded. I like that block. We, we mess with shredded too. No, I do that block cheese. I need to go with the tongues. Bro, don't be like BB. He was telling me he don't like block cheese earlier. Whoa. That's some bullshit. I got some vagina through some block cheese one time. I swear. I'm if it smells it. like block cheese. No, 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 no. Through some block cheese. Girl was sitting on the couch eating black cheese. I told her I got a black or something she can get. She asked what it was. I said, D. And next thing you know, I had some vagina. <laughs> True story. Wow. Some girls. I hope my daughter never turns out like that. Yeah, well, I mean, hmm. you ain't got to worry about this because you ain't got to worry about me trying to smash it. I can't really appreciate single. I'm going to get up top. See if I can finagle those. Hey, Chris. Come yeah. to this side. What? Come over here. You're gonna have to go to the right a little bit. Too much? Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good? Now what? It might need, it's okay, so it's hitting your your front drive shaft right now. Okay, so the jack in the front needs to be lifted up. Okay. So, Chris, you're going to have to do that. It's right below your feet. <clears throat> in from the front, yeah. Tell them when. Okay, keep going. Um, okay, so it's moving your entire, uh, like the, the free will and everything. So, like, it's, I think it's snagged. Um, Chris, a little slag out. Yeah. So now you need to maybe come up a little bit. Which side? No, I'm talking about Lee. Up? Yeah. I need to come up or he needs to come up. Because he's controlling it. I'm just pushing. Chris, you need to get down here and uh, instruct in this situation. What? Bro, come on, tell us what we need. Well, do it. you got a shaft in top uh, of there. Can you see it? There's one coming out of the transmission, right? Yes, it's got to line up with that hole in the middle. The transmission here. The front side's gonna have to go down a little bit, so. The front side needs to go down? Yeah. Wait. What front, front side are you talking about? Well, so you come here, right? Did you need to go down just a smidge on this side. Does it need to go down to go in that hole, Brent? See, I can't see the shaft from this angle. I can't see the shaft either. Um, hold on. <coughs> Maybe Chris. Can. I'm just lining it up by the dowel pins. Well, Cause cause if you can get those really close, close, then the shaft ought to slide in. Still ain't going. I can get it to focus a bit there. Cause right now, I believe, if I'm correct. It is locked on the uh, clutch and pressure plate there. Like it's not gonna let it go because locked. Yeah, it's like slammed into each other on this side. On <clears throat> this side. So what's what's gonna have to happen to make what if it's hung I up? I think that get... I think that the it needs to go down just a little bit in the front. Yeah, I think the, I need to go so, down just a little right, bit. You pretty much got a hole right there, and then you got a, a piece like this, mm -hmm. and it's either going to hit above the hole, beside the hole, or in the hole. Yeah, it's really close. I mean, I don't know if it is in there or not. I think I mean, it's it maybe fit in, in there. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I, mean, I put it on video and you can take it off in there and look around, <laughs> and then watch the video. Yeah, but you can you can barely <laughs> Stick your finger and let me kick it. Yeah. I just can't move it. So I see your... You did tell him to leave the transmission hanging down. Oh, yeah. So if you're trying to put this thing in level, which I thought it probably needed to be, you're going to have a hell of a time, just like we did. It's not worth the struggle. It's not worth it. We're completely wore out. 
transmission has to go in kind of, a, of at an angle like that. The back has to be towards the ground. Yeah, so the ass end tailing towards the kind of hanging down a little bit. Now we've got what? Starter, cross yeah. member, the drive shaft, and sticking the gear shifters back in. And the, and the uh, slave clutch. And the slave clutch. Slave clutch or the slave? Slave clutch. What is the slave clutch? It's a hydraulic thing that, go, that pushes the clutch in. Oh, the slave cylinder. Yeah, slave clutch. So, I'm going to do that. And then, the time is like 11.30, so we shall see when this ends. So, my light, turn it on. Okay. So, what is this? Three hours later, we finally got this hoodie transmission back bolted on. And took forever with this jack. Impossible to do this without a jack unless you're sticking her back in the hole. So we get into gear, so I, if I spin it, the spines will spin. So maybe to go in easier.